Jackson, shall we uh, get ourselves ready to move here? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, cool. So the first of our warm-up moves in is a single leg deadlift, and we're going to hug in our knee at the top of things. So send one leg straight back, single leg deadlift. Come up, bring the knee in, hug it in, get tall, and then drop it and switch it, second side. Hinge forward, leg lifts behind you. Up and hug it on in. This is great music for warm-ups here. Yeah. So smooth. Once again, Jurassic 5, everybody, if you want to be on the same page here. We'll go one more. Find your core waking up a little bit here, too. Nice and tall with that hug in at the top. Awesome. Second up, we're going to face each other. We're going to raise our hands up and take our feet a little wider than the shoulders. We're going to rotate coming down. We're going to bend our knees, help us get lower. Come on up, face the front, and then rotate to the next side, bend in the knees. Come back up nice and tall. Do feel those rotators in your core right here. You lift up, big rotation, big core work. And then of course, you reach up high, you keep stretching out, breaking a little bit of the monotony of our forward facing days. Awesome, after this we hit some low squats. So we're taking feet just a little wider than usual. Hands are together, we're gonna lower down, tap the hands to the floor. One arm goes up. Bring it down, second arm goes up, and then stand up through those heels, nice and tall. Perfect, bring it back down. Try to stack hand on shoulder. See if visually you can see it. Stack nicely, push through those heels. We got two more through here. Give us just a small adjustment here for you all as well. Awesome, let's go one more from here. Work to whatever depth you got, find those heels. All right, push and stand. Love it, now we hit the floor, hands and knees position. Got ourselves a little opening of our shoulders here as we start. So we start hands and knees, our right hand is gonna reach over to our left side. Then we're gonna open up, opposite way. Put the hand down, and with your right knee, pull it in, kick the heel up, and then knee all the way down. Left arm, reach to the right side. Now open up to that left side. Hand on your shoulder, left knee, bring it in, heel goes up, drop it, switch it, right arm, left side, and open, bring it under, right knee comes in, right heel pushes up, love it, and our final one, left hand, right side, open on up, left hand on green, let's bring that knee in, and push that heel up. All right, very good. There's a little bit of a twister reference in there. Right. I would have thought that was an actual command for a second. <laughs> All right, last one we're doing is your half kneeling position. You're going to bring that foot out to the side, so 90 degrees to that side. And today we're going to add a little arm reaching over top. So as we go to that side, your inside arm is going to come overhead. Then we'll come up nice and tall. Okay, Sitting backwards a little bit. Your butt pushes back just the tiniest bit. Get up nice and tall. Find our breath in. And then our breath out, bringing it up. We've got one more on this left side. Inhale, exhale, switch, opposite side. All right, practice the lean, practice the reach. Exhale, come up. Inhale, reach it. Exhale, bring it up. Two more. Awesome, and our last one. All right, Jackson, I think it's time we send out a few high fives to our folks here. Sounds good. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's do it. And, and one more. Very good. Okay. <laughs> one for me. Yeah. One for us. <laughs> one for us. <laughs> one for us. Uh, we got three moves at three speeds coming up next. You guys hydrate up a little bit. If you want to partake with us, please do. Remember our first round, everything's going to be super slow, and then we go straight into shorter and faster along the way. First movement, a deadlift, a curl, a shoulder press. You got your two weights, they should be in front of the legs. You got those shoulders pinned back and down. We're super slow, so take your time and show me a fold, right? Not the knees bending, although they can be bent. Come up nice and tall, then bring those weights in front of the shoulders, press them up, and smooth 
coming all the way down. That is exercise number one. Exercise number two is a side stepping squat. We're gonna have our two weights in front of the shoulders. We're gonna have our feet together. We're gonna step out. It could be a wide step. It could be a medium step. Squat into it, bring the feet together at the top and go to the second side. Step out, squat and bring it together. Pretty simple. Last one, we put our weights down and we keep it to one of our regulars, our bicycle. We're gonna fire up some core real slow in round one with a smooth turn and some low back presence. Please, you know you guys wanna dream of doing anything beyond engaging low back in our core work. Awesome, so those are our three movements. Of course, as we get into that second and third round, immediately we're picking up tempo, but we're cutting a little time along the way too. So finish up your hydration, get yourself in a good position, grab your two weights, and we go deadlifts, curls, and presses as the starter for our three moves at three speeds. Really slow as we start out, please. Let's get started. Three, two, pin those shoulders down. Smooth coming down, show me a tight belly. We lift back up, we're keeping a tall spine during that curl and press. Belly tight, nice and smooth. Push your butt backwards through this as a way to increase additional stretch. That's it. Now notice that your knees need to be pulling out just a tiny bit to the outside. And if you look at them, that should put them right on top of the feet, right into that middle foot and right above them. You got 10 seconds here, then we're gonna keep the weights and go to the stepping side squat next. Finished in three, in two, in one. Our second movement, staying slow. We have our weights in front and our feet together. Side step to a slow squat. Three, two, sit into it, feel those heels feet together, and switch. And nice and smooth. Once again, when we go slow, identify your knees pulling out a little bit. Identify your heels as your hips sit back. And identify your core with this hold. Now, if you keep your elbows up a little higher, you can get even more out of what we're doing. We got 20 more seconds here. And then after that, we're gonna hit the bicycles from there. We'll put the weights down, about 10 seconds time. Awesome, taking eyes up, finished in three, in two, in one. Come down to the floor, properly put those weights to the floor, thank you very much. Hands behind your head, and we've got slow bicycles, beginning in three, in two, slow, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Give me that fully straightened leg. And if you need to, you can put those feet up higher. A way to keep that low back a little happier. That's it. Feel the rotation through those core muscles. They're pulling you to one side, then driving you to the next. You got flexed feet. That means toes to shins. And remember, we're gonna go straight in to standing up where we started, deadlift, curl, and press right after this. Less than 10 seconds. Finished in three, in two, in one. Stand up and properly lift your weights. Belly tight, use those heels, bend those knees, folks. Deadlift, curl, press, three, two, Medium speed, let's go. Yeah, so remember, this is a hinge, right? We're not squatting down, we're folding from the hip line and keeping those weights right in front of those legs the whole time. We are painting the legs with those weights as a way to keep those shoulder blades extra depressed, extra down. Got 10 more seconds, then we get into that stepping side squat. Finished in three, in two, in one. Let's next bring those weights in front of the shoulders. 
You can lift the arms if you want to make it more challenging. Squatting to each side and you choose your width that works for you. Starting in three, in two, let's go at our medium pace. Up together, each time stepping out to both sides. There we go. Breathe out, stand up. Find those heels if you're feeling good with that squat. You can go a little bit lower. 10 seconds from here, 10 seconds, then we're gonna hit the floor for those bicycles to follow. We're putting the weights down safely in three, in two, bend those knees, tighten that belly, and then bring yourself on your back. We got medium pace for our bicycles, hands behind head. Three, two, let's go. So we got good pace going side to side, but nothing crazy yet. We're gonna get to crazy soon. We got 10 more seconds. Last few, come on, get through that burn. Three, two, and one. All right. Now we've got our quicker pace to finish up with our deadlift, our curl, and our press. Have those weights ready. We're gonna start in 15, so you got a few more seconds to catch your breath. Use this as an opportunity to gain that energy so we can push on our last round here. Weights in front of the legs. We start in three, in two, let's knock it out a little faster. And you could use kind of that hip press right here to bring those weights up and to have it kind of mesh together into a curl press combo. Got 10 more seconds. Then we go to those stepping side squats. Three, two, and one. Next up, feet are together. Take those arms for a quick second. I wanna encourage everybody, try to keep your elbows lifted on this one. And of course, we're picking up our pace. Feet are together, side step in, in three, in two, a little faster as we go. If you're feeling really good, really push tempo, right? You start even doing a little bit of kind of rapid or explosive push up. Got yourselves about 10 good seconds. After that, we hit the floor for the bicycles to follow. Putting those weights down in three, in two, and one. Let's safely put those weights down Bring yourself on to your back. 30 seconds of our bicycle at a quicker clip. Hands behind you, three, two, let's go. So every crunch, I wanna breath out. Keep working here, keep working. 10 seconds remaining, last little bit. Finished up in three, in two, and rest, Woo. recover, Woo. get some. Cute. That was a good one, Sean. Woo. That was a good one, everybody. Oh. Well done.